You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. DSU students say they want to feel safer. It comes after some unruly activity and a shooting near the school's campus. The concerns brought up during a public safety meeting. A racial tirade gone viral. We are learning more about the Georgia man who recorded racist remarks while riding through Atlanta. Why this is not his first time under fire. Well, the sun is starting to rise, folks. In fact, we're going to see plenty of it uh, through the afternoon. It's going to be much warmer out there as well, but some rain coming our way. We'll talk about that in the full forecast straight ahead. Georgia State University students and staff are sharing their concerns about safety with campus leaders and police. 11 Allies Molly Oak has the latest on the forum they hope will bring some safety solutions. Students and staff shared their concerns with campus police and campus leaders to talk about possible solutions to the violence. Last night, one staff member told leaders that students are getting harassed and assaulted in the student center, making people feel not safe. Earlier this month, massive crowds got rowdy as drivers were laying drag near campus and a shootout near Piedmont Avenue ended with a person getting shot. Now, students say they need more accountability from both campus leaders and police. We shouldn't have to tell you how to do your job. We are students who work our own jobs, our own nine to fives in some cases, and have to go to our own classes. We don't have time to tell you how to do your jobs, and I shouldn't have to be here. The school says it's planning to add more officers to the area. Back to you all. Your time now is 651 here. What else is happening this morning? Police are searching for a gunman on the run since he shot and killed a man inside a Marta rail station. It happened at the Ashby rail station as just west of downtown during a busy afternoon rush on Tuesday. Marta police say the passengers rushed to try to help the victim, a man in his 20s, but he died before paramedics arrived. Police are now reviewing the security camera video. They do expect to release more details. We'll keep you updated. Prior to the deadly shooting we just mentioned, we talked to the Atlanta police about the city's homicide race. They told us homicides are down 50% from last year, but APD's deputy chief tells us that they are seeing more kids involved in violent crimes before ever before. So now they are focusing on gangs, guns and drugs and ramping up efforts to keep kids out of trouble. The Democratic National Convention is headed to Chicago, even though many were convinced Atlanta was a front runner. Political experts say Georgia is one of the few states up for grabs during next year's election. They add that losing the bid to host could impact how the Peach State swings during the 2024 presidential election. Just hours from now, parents and students in DeKalb County will get the chance to meet the man who could become the next superintendent. Dr. Devon Horton is the only finalist for the position. The first of three town halls starts tonight at Chamblee High School from 6 until 8. That was a look at your top headlines. All right, Chesley, something to look forward to today. A beautiful day ahead. Yeah, my pick for the week right here. It's going to be a nice one out there, folks. If you didn't get a chance to yesterday because you had plans, whatever, your schedule got messed up, today is the day. I'm not saying play hooky or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But take some time out. We'll have plenty of sunshine around the area today. Just to even go for that walk. Forego uh, jumping on the bus to ride down the street. Just walk down there. It's going to be a nice one out there. Look at this. Sunshine all day long. 47 degrees start, which means you start off with that light jacket. But by this afternoon, you want to take that off. Looking at 69 degrees by noon on our way up to 75. For an afternoon high, some spots will get a little higher than that. By 7 o'clock tonight, we'll drop down to 72 degrees. Going out to see the Braves take on the Reds once again because they go away after that. They'll be out of town after that. So notice down here to the south, we do have the rain is pushing further off to the north. We're watching an area of low pressure that's going to continue to build. It will bring the clouds our way. It will bring the rain our way, but that won't be until tomorrow. High pressure still dominating our skies. In fact, our winds out of the east uh, today, anywhere between 7, 8 miles per hour or less. Notice that light green shade, which means that's where the showers will be for today. Tomorrow, that dark green area starts to slide a little further to the north. In fact, yesterday, I was showing you that, uh, down toward the Macon area, southward. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center has extended that a little further to the north to include the Atlanta metro area. What we're talking about here is a level one threat for severe weather. This will be tied tomorrow afternoon. I think if we see anything at all, it'll be toward the evening, but an isolated 
strong to severe thunderstorm as possible for our area. For the most part, you should be dealing with that rain. Here's how it plays out. Forecast track model shows the sunshine for today. Beautiful afternoon. Clouds come in late tonight going into tomorrow morning. When you wake up, that's what we're going to see. Partly to mostly cloudy skies. The rain down to the south of us, but it will build into the area by the time we get to the afternoon. Your morning commute tomorrow will be dry. It won't be until the afternoon that we'll see those scattered showers. Some of those will start to uh, turn intense for us with the heavy rain. Again, lightning and thundering will be accompanying some of these uh, showers that will be th rolling through the area. This will be through the evening and into uh, Friday morning as well. We'll hold on to the scattered showers off and on through the day on Friday. It won't be until the evening that that area of low pressure starts to move out of the area and we'll see some clearing taking place as we head into Saturday. In fact, warmer as well with 80 for the high temperature. Cold front coming through on Sunday will bring a 30% chance for the rain, then looking better as we start the work week next week. New for you this morning, a coach and student athletic personal trainer is under fire for racial remarks. We do want to warn you that the remarks we're going to share with you are disturbing. I ain't seen a white person in sight. Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. Mark Taylor's video has gone viral. He recorded his drive through Atlanta. He's from Houston County. In the video, Taylor is heard making slurs towards a black driver. He also uses racial slurs several times. He even references a lynching. Taylor offers personal training for kids in football, basketball, and other sports. Parents who have worked with him say this is absolutely unacceptable. He shouldn't be around kids. He shouldn't be have the privilege of being a coach to any athlete. And our parents need to know what they're walking into. Taylor is a former Georgia middle school teacher and coach who was fired and banned from Houston County Schools in 2007. We're still waiting to hear from Taylor about the videos after reaching out for a comment. This morning, Mercer University staff and students are remembering 21 year old Baba Agbaji. He died of cardiac arrest on Monday night. We spoke with his high school coach who says the news is devastating for everyone who knew Baba. Everybody loved Baba. Every teacher he ever had, every person he ever had contact with, just thought this is a great human being. His coach says his tragedy is a reminder of why having AEDs and CPR certified trainers on hand is so important. All right, this afternoon, as Ariana goes out by herself for lunch and she didn't invite us, she'll be enjoying sunshine. 69 degrees will be our temperature. East wind will be on the light side for today, so it's enjoyable all day long. In fact, warm this afternoon with temperatures getting up to 75 degrees. Some spots will get a little higher than that. By 6 o'clock, as you're driving home, temperatures right around 73 degrees. Enjoy, folks. Plenty of sunshine. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.